making our 23rd annual Put the Neighbor Back in the Hood. And we started this uh, venture many years ago, let's just say 23 years ago, we've been over here, we've been across the street, and the last 10 years or more, we've been around the corner at Box Avenue uh, Playground. We started this with the concept, uh, Imam W.D. Muhammad had, had encouraged us to try to establish and build model community. And the only way we can do that is we work collectively together with all of our neighbors. You know, the city of Buffalo is known for the city of good neighbors. And when we first moved here almost 30 years ago, this was not the safest and the best place to live. A lot of crime, a lot of drug activity, violence. But over the years, with the neighbors and the block clubs, the mass unit and the, the businesses and stores, we've worked to help change the community, and we only can do that collectively. You know, we said put the neighbor back in the hood. You know, once everybody say, I'm from the hood, I'm from the hood, he wanted like a badge of honor. But it had a very negative connotation, you know, hiding or deceptive. You know, we want to be neighbors. So careful, let's put neighbors back into the hood. And we have to look out for one another. We can't rely on our community leaders, our government officials to do everything for us. We have our responsibility ourselves. You know, to keeping our own home together, your own house together, your own lawn together, that's our responsibility. That shouldn't be the mayor's responsibility, the councilman's responsibility, the county legislator's responsibility. That's our responsibility. If everybody do their share, then we have stock in our own neighborhood. And once, you know, the neighbors, we like to compete sometimes. You know, you, if you're the only house on the block that's looking a little shabby, then that's gonna put some pressure on you. You know, so let's keep going, let everybody keep their part. So this is our, our neighborhood, you know, it, it's evolved and it's growing, it's continued to grow, it's the city becoming much more diverse, but we're here. For whatever reason, God put us here at this place and time, and that's where we're gonna be at until we go somewhere else. So while we're here, let's lock arms with each other, let's respect one another, and support one another, and put our share, put our share, this is our responsibility, our share responsibility. So at this time, we have some of our elected officials who um, I say, I call them because they don't just come out when it's just an, e an event. I see them when the cameras are not around. I see them at meetings, with discussion, they're plotting, they're planning, you know, and, and it's not just during the next year season. So we appreciate about that. You know, for any city you go to, when it's election time, running back, we start seeing the streets get paid, you know, things that's been neglected for a long, long time. When they're just doing it for the moment in time, the space to get you over there. These elected officials, I can say, I, I know many of them, they are not here feeling like we working for them. They understand that they work for us. And that's what we have to hold out, uh, let our community leaders and our government officials, let them understand that they, they work for us. All the way from the President of the United States on down, they work for us. We don't work for them, okay? So this is a community effort. So we like all our elected officials to please come up. We have our Senator, uh, Kennedy, who always uh, comes to support with us. We have our new uh, councilman-elect from the University of Texas, Rashid Wyatt. We have our uh, Howard Jackson, our county legislator, and our leader of the county legislator, April Baskin. Um, I just met our new Fillmore, uh, I think, Noah Kowski, I believe, and Bonner, is that? Is this the Lovejoy? Bowman, I'm sorry. I was close, okay. I just, just met them. But well, we'd like all of them to come up and say a, a, a few words about the event, and we appreciate them and their support. We also want to uh, thank our, our Master District Council, we expect them to be with it, uh, 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 Ulysses Wingo, who helped us get this stage uh, this year. We really appreciate that. And our Mayor, uh, Byron Brown, always here. We anticipate him to stop it by. But he was with us all the way back when he was a councilman, uh, Master District Councilman. The mayor walked with us here, you know, the park on, on Fox Avenue, that was like a dumping ground. Uh, the cars used to be dumped back on this lot. This was a dumping ground. There was so much junk over here that we discovered it was a boat back here. It was an actual boat that was so much gone we didn't even know it was uncovered. There was a boat back here. We cleaned, cleaned all this up. This used to be, it was so much we dig under the ground, you find all kinds of liquid wine bottles under there. So the city's come out, trimmed the bushes, all the, uh, the grass, so we're gonna be here. We thank all of our neighbors who work closely with our, we got our French Street brother Leonard, the president of our French Street Block Club. 
We want him to come in. Yes, it's both thing we're doing the music for us uh, uh, today. And also, we the business of uh, Maddie's and all the people that have been with us working in support for many, many years. So we thank you all. We, and without further ado, we want them to say a few words with us. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing today? What a beautiful Buffalo day we have here, do we not? All right. What a great parade. How about a round of applause for all the organizers of today's parade, putting it in for back in the hood. You know, thank you so much for uh, everything that you do. You know, this is about our community. It's about our neighborhood. It's about our city. And it's about making sure that our home, our home is the best as it can possibly be. And over the years, as has been mentioned, we've been slowly, methodically taking our neighborhood back. And we need to continue to do so. What do we envision our home, our neighborhood, our city to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, maybe when some of us aren't around? What do we want our community to be? What do we want to leave our kids? What do we want to leave our grandkids? And what do we want to have around us? So this is all about our community coming together, putting the neighbor back in the hood, taking our neighborhood back, and keeping it as strong and making it as strong as it can possibly be. I'm honored and proud to be here with each and every one of you. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thanks for making me a part of this today's celebration. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. One of our major sponsors, the Community Health Center of Buffalo. Okay, and I think today you can go, can you get some? Are y'all doing free uh, doing free tests today? Blood blood pressure check. So you know sometimes we get a little stressed out. If you were stressed like yesterday or last night, you might want to go in and uh, get your blood pressure checked. <laughs> There's some air conditioning in there too, I understand. <laughs> they get a tour, you can go get a tour of the unit too. Okay? And uh, boys, they have a community center on, on, on Bigwood. Also, they have one in Niagara Falls, they have one in Lockport, and one in uh, Tignawak. Okay. We also want to thank uh, working with the uh, Youth Entrepreneur uh, Business Center. That's a uh, young in training. And we have the CAO, Pam Johnson, been very committed to working with us. Every Saturday morning, it's our last Saturday, they come out. We're trying to make this an incubator for future you people to go into business. Eventually, when we hope to get our building repaired on the corner, then they can move in and have something year-round. But uh, they've been here uh, for the last several weeks on Saturday uh, uh, morning. So the, the concept is, is being on the other side of the town, not just the consumer side of the county, but being on the ownership side of the town. So we have here now a leader of the county legislator, Sister April Basket. Yeah. I'm so thrilled to be here with you uh, this Saturday morning. I think that it's events like this that actually make the change. It's, uh, like Mr. Asari said, we here are your advocates and your voice. We're elected to represent you when it comes to government. But it gives us so much excitement to see the people who are actually impacted by that change come out and unify and work together to put neighbors back in the hood. That's what we need to do. Our agenda should be based on your needs. And by you all being here, being intentional, working together, getting sponsors, getting the block clubs together, making sure that everybody is on the same page and we're working in unity, that's how change effectively happens. When everybody has a seat at the table and a voice. And I'm so happy to see so many young people, so many different groups represented here. It just gives me so much excitement to take back to the Erie County Legislature and make sure that we are making sure that we put at the top of our priorities unifying communities and doing effective change that are going to impact all of us and our families. So congratulations to you all on the 43rd anniversary of such a worthy event. I'll now introduce my colleague in the legislature, your legislator for this district, Howard Johnson. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ansari, uh, for inviting us. This is my second time with him. I was out with him last year, and I'm just impressed with the uh, turnout today. So again, thank yourself. That's what you should do. Thank yourself. Yeah, the concept of putting neighbor back in the hood is an old concept, but it's one we should return to. 
I remember being a kid that, you know, you knew everybody in the block and, you know, you had to be uh, accountable to other families, not just your own family. So this right here is great. I thank you guys for having me and uh, let's, let's do this again next year.